Queenie, Queenie Shepherd, Queenie Douglas Shepherd, Douglas Fairbank Shepherd, Queenie, Queenie Ocupia. Ocupia? Who's Ocupia? Is it an Irishman, Jack? Occupier, you daft ape, but the occupier. <laughs> probably a circular. Circular? Ah, <laughs> you're right. Hey, hey, she'll like this. It says here it recaptures the laughter, music, and enchantment of a hundred years ago. Yeah, it reminds her of when she was courting our dad. <laughs> <laughs> I heard that. Oh. Now, now, Queenie, don't you know what day it is? Of course I know what day it is. It is Friday the 13th of August, my wedding anniversary and our Douglas's birthday. Well, happy anniversary, Queenie. Thank you, Jack. Happy, happy anniversary, anniversary Mum. Oh, thank you, loves. Yes, it was 21 years ago today that your father finally captured me at the altar of St. Swithin's Meanwood. <laughs> and 19 years ago to the very hour that little baby Douglas was born. Just in time for his sugar puff. <laughs> Where is he? Oh, he's getting dressed. Oh. Hey, Queenie, what's in that big parcel at the end of his bed? You wait and see. You shouldn't have done. It's just what I've always wanted, ma'am. It's superb. Shall I put it on? If you like, love, yes. Hey, what you got in, Queenie? A nurse's outfit. <laughs> you just wait and see what I've got him. Hey, ma'am, anyway, did you like my present? Oh, yes, thank you, Bunny. It was a lovely nighty. <laughs> what about mine, ma'am? Yes, Raymond, thank you very much. A woman can never have too many nighties. <laughs> well, hang on, hang on. What about mine, then? Thank you, Jack. Twelve pairs of knickers is always handy. <laughs> you know, I think those Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday sets of knickers are a funny idea. Mm, so do I, love. But Jack, with his impeccable good taste, went one step further. He got me a January, February, March <laughs> set. <laughs> oh, ready? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Douglas. Happy birthday to you. Hey, it's Popeye the Sailor. Oh, never mind them, love. They're just envious because they have not got the gift of wearing smart clothes like you have. Well, how does it feel to be 19 years old? I'm 20, ma'am. Oh, you're 19, love. Am I? Oh, yeah. You start from note. I was starting from one. Oh. Well, ma'am, here's my card to you. Oh, thank you, Douglas. What does it say? I really go for your apple pie, your meatloaf, steak and fish. But, darling, I've got news for you. You're my favourite dish. Oh, thank you, Douglas. Yeah, hey, there's one from me, Mum. Oh. Open it up and oh. read what it says. Isn't this lovely? During the past year, I have tried to seduce you 365 <laughs> times. Here is a list of reasons why I did not succeed. It's too late. It's too early. I'm too tired. That's clever, Mum. There's another one here, Mum. Oh. Read that one. To the sweetest wife in the world. <laughs> This'll be from your father. No, Mum, that's from me. <laughs> Certainly a very novel idea, Raymond. <laughs> well, isn't there one from your dad? I mean, he never usually forgets. Hey, there's one here without a stamp on. That'll be it. <laughs> and it's over. Here you are, then. Here, that mucky thing. He's been using that envelope as a flaming beer mat. Oh, Nick Douglas. Right, ma'am. I will. Here, there's a cheque. How much for? It's from the Bank of Happiness. Where's that? <laughs> Please pay the bearer 1,000 kisses. The mean-minded clog. We're not going to have much of a celebration on that. There's this as well, ma'am. Oh, that's all right. That's a money order for 30 quid. My marriage is still intact. <laughs> Happy anniversary, Queenie. It doesn't seem like 21 years. And while I am writing, 
You think he wrote every week. A mate of mine's son has just moved into a new job in Leeds, so I've told him to get in touch with you on the happy day. His name is Robert, so please see he has a good time. Your ever-loving Lionel. Well, that's nice. We'll take him down the builders with us tonight. We're not going down the builders tonight, Mum. What? That's right, Mum. No builders tonight. Well, what the heck are we doing, then? Sitting in here and watching Crossroads? Mother! My brothers are cooking you a meal for your anniversary. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're not. We are, you know. <laughs> you won't have to lift a finger tonight, Mum, cos me and Raymond are going to do the lot. Well, that's, uh, that's very sweet of you both. Um, have you thought what we're going to have? We've got a book by Fanny Craddock. <laughs> <laughs> well, what are we going to do? Grill it and each take bites out of it? Um, well, I'll be off them. <laughs> what the hell have you got on? Well, I'm off to Edingley. This is me cricket watching gear. <laughs> what are you going as? A peeping Tom? <laughs> as this is your special day, Queenie, I won't answer that. I'll see you tonight. Mm, and not before, I hope. Hey, Douglas, have you folded up your uniform nice and neatly, love? You don't want to be late for your window cleaning round. Douglas! He's gone. And where's his flaming uniform? Would you like your windows cleaning? Howling! Tell me away! You heard. Scram. Don't you want them cleaning? I always do this street on a Friday. Now look here, you what the
more gin, a bit more whiskey. Hey. Oh. Mm. Ah. oh, yes. Just a touch of Bo Jolly de Co-op. <laughs> ah, yes. To complete the masterpiece, a liberal gashing with pickled onions. Oh. Jack, what shall I do with this? <laughs> It's not like the picture in the book, is it? It's nothing like it. Jack, the chips are on fire! Well, pour a bucket of water over them. No! No, don't! Honey! Look at them. Just look. They're not the right colour, are they? Charcoal chips. No, they're not. Bye. You know, you lot had about as much use as a concrete parachute. Don't you blame us. You're the one that told us what to do. If Rain hadn't stopped play, we'd have been all right on his own. Well, you didn't do what I told you to do, did you? Yes, yes we, we did. did. Well, there must be something wrong with the cooker, then. Well, it's the last time I try smoking salmon. <laughs> <laughs> so, everybody, how's it going? Oh, not so well, I see. Well, it's Jack's fault. He's mucked it all up. I was merely giving a bit of advice. And I've got some advice for you and all, Queenie. Your cooker needs attention. Mm, and so does your head. What shall I do with this salmon, Mum? Well, I... I don't know, love. What was its last request? <laughs> oh, Mum. Never mind, love. Cheer up. I thought something like this would happen, so I, uh, I went down that Chinese takeaway restaurant and I ordered a load of spare ribs for everybody. Oh, oh smash, smash Mum. Where's Douglas? I don't know. We haven't seen him. Not no seen him, Queenie. Now, right, uh, what did you say you did for a living? I told you. I'm a window cleaner. <laughs> well, I don't think they're going to believe you. Here, yeah, dressed up like that. All right, I flog toilet rolls. <laughs> now, don't be cheeky, my old son. Now, have you ever been on an identification parade before? No, I have not. <laughs> yeah, right. Well, there you see, now, what happens is this. We have 12 men about the same height and colouring as you. We've got more lined up outside, it's all ready, you see. You see, we, we go to a lot of trouble, you know, to see that justice is done. You must be new on the job. <laughs> right, come on, let's go. May I go now? The water in my bucket will be getting cold. <laughs> right. Hey, oh, yeah. yeah. Do you come here often? Oh, don't try and chat me up, you clogged. I'm your mother. All right. Well, watch this then. Slow, slow. Quick, quick, slow, with a quick fish tail. Somebody, hey, go and answer that. It'll be Douglas. Right. He went without his key, you see. He wasn't. Uh, he went out wearing his birthday suit. <laughs> his birthday suit? Oh, I see what you mean. <laughs> oh, is it Shepherd? Yes. I'm, I'm sorry I'm late. I got held up. It took a bit longer than I thought. Oh, you must be Robert. Yes, Lionel's told us all about you. Yes, yes, we've been expecting you, Raymond. Come on, do the honours. Um, what do you want? I will get this beer, beer, this beer. 
Oh, well, beer would be very nice. Good idea. Right, sit yourself down then and uh, tell, tell us all about you. Oh, my goodness, but you don't want to hear all about me. I mean, especially as I know that today is your anniversary, Mrs Shepherd. That's right. And also your son's birthday. So may I inaugurate our acquaintance by delivering my little tribute to you all. Oh, what a lovely lad. <laughs> uh, perhaps I should know which of the gentlemen here present is the happy birthday boy. Well, he's not here just at the moment. Something unexpected must have come up. <laughs> oh, I am sorry. What's in the parcel, Mum? You wait and see what uh, it is when Douglas comes. No, oh, no, no, please open it now. I'm sure Douglas won't mind. Oh. Uh, Douglas. Oh, that's yeah. his name, is it? That's Douglas. right, yes. Oh, no, no, that dude has been burning a hole in my pockets all day. It's not knocked off, is it? <laughs> knocked off? I... Oh, oh, no, 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 oh, of course not. That's all right, because I, I don't want any more of that sort of stuff in here. No, well, let me help you. Oh. Oh. It's a Polaroid camera. Oh, I had eight dozen of them last year. Eight dozen? Where on earth did you get those from? Well, they fell off a lorry. <laughs> uh, very gently. That was lucky, wasn't it? Lucky? It was flaming clever. Here, come here. See that colour telly there? That fell off another lorry and all. Right. <laughs> Same night, we were in the builders, you know, till drinking till three in the morning, and the landlord had to help us out over the roof. Yeah. Didn't he? <laughs> he did, oh, eh? He forgot to drink. Tell him about the van, Jack. Oh, the uh -huh. van. Hey, that's an epic in itself, you know. It's got no tax, no licence and no insurance. And no flaming brakes last time I rode in it, neither. <laughs> you, you are aware that is a criminal offence, aren't you? Of you course it is! <laughs> hey, you wouldn't have heard of Inspector Hardacre, will you? I mean, we've got him just like that, you know. We can do nout wrong. Listen, Robert, what, like, what, you know, what kind of cigarettes do you like? We can get you any brand you want. Hey, you hey, just have you got a burn, have you? I mean, if you want any tights, lipsticks, perfume, what anything like that, give us a Boys, boys, I don't think we should bore Robert with any more of this. I mean, let, let him have the floor to himself. Come on, Robert, you tell us all about yourself. I mean, who oh, no. no, no, my goodness, no, I, I'm just going to turn the station. Station? I, Yes, yes, it would. Uh, uh, well, my, my digs, they're near the station, you see. And go and tell them all about it. I mean, uh, well, you know, tell them all about me being in late tonight. Oh, yeah. come on, Robert, have another drink. It's duty free. Duty free? That lot were totally free. <laughs> <laughs> Not for me at the moment, thank you very much. Look, where is the phone? It's uh, outside, down one floor, and you'll need two peas. Two peas? He's only drunk a thing. <laughs> now, shut up. You've had quite enough, you have. Uh, Come to think of it, you won't need money. Just take one of them Swiss francs in the tin there. They always work. You're out of those tricks too, are you? Oh, yeah. We never pay for phone calls round here. <laughs> well, thanks for the tip. <laughs> Charm me a moment. All right. <laughs> That's a charming boy. <gasps> oh. Why can't one of you lot be like that? I wish I'd had a son like him. He's a bit thick, though, isn't he? Well, you get on well with Douglas. <laughs> <laughs> Ma'am, I didn't do a thing. Oh, Douglas! I promise you, I didn't do a thing. Where the heck have you been? They've been round, haven't they? Who? The coppers. The police haven't been near the place. They have. I've just seen one of them. Where? Downstairs on the telephone. He's calling the police station. Him? A copper? And we've been shooting our mouths off. Ain't the place will be swarming with coppers in a minute. Come on, let's get rid of that girl. Come, come on. Come on, on, come on, on. get it all together. I, I, I've got the lot, Sarge. I've got their own mouths, everything. Yes, 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 I do. Yes, yes, I know I'm new to the job, Sarge, but I... Yes, 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 I, I'll, I'll do that. I'll play along with them until you come, all right? Yes, 15 minutes, right. Hold your back! Put this on your arm. Put this on your arm. What's up? What's up? Just be ready. Let's all be ready. Now then, I'll give him copper. I'll fix him. One of my Queenie specials Ooh, in here. Right, Mum. That'll knock him oh, over. Right. That right, doesn't work. Will. Nothing will. Just a minute. So right. Oh, hello, love. Did you get through all right? Oh, yes, no trouble. Thanks to your Swiss franc. Ah, well, anything for one of Lionel's friends. Uh, would you like a nice glass of homemade fruit cup? Uh, I won't take no for an answer. Oh, well, I can't very well refuse if, if, if you put it like that, can no, I? not really. <laughs> Cheers. 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 He's a bit potent, isn't he? No, have another. I, 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 I do think I can have any more of that. Could I just be quite tipsy? Oh, go on. on. It's only coloured water. Yeah. Get it down. Go do on, you take good. it, love. That's it. Now then, how about giving Queenie a nice big kiss, eh? Douglas! Come on, get a shot of that. Come on. Good boy. Good boy. Good job. Now then, I think we're round the evening, 
up with a nice game of cards. Right. Uh, let Robert sit right. in that chair. Right. Right. Come on, Robert. Right. You have fun, yeah. love. Have fun. There, yeah. there we are, and there's the cards. Oh, thank you very much. So I must tell you, Leo, I have nothing at all to gamble with, you know. Oh, that's all right, love. I always keep a couple of quid up here for emergencies. <laughs> what do you want? Good right. Now, now then, uh, what's uh, what is your favourite game, love? Well, actually, I like this bar. Come on, 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 Get his trousers up. Go on. Are you off, really? That's it. Put that on his head. Quick, right, get Jack, come, on. Come, on. come 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 in, love. The door isn't locked. We've got nothing to hide in here. <laughs> Where is he? Well, I can't say I didn't warn him. Happy anniversary, Queenie. <laughs> Thank you, love. Well, I presume, as usual, you've got it all on a camera or a tape recorder or something? Uh, a Polaroid, actually, love. Yes, he gave it to me for an anniversary present. <laughs> Smile! Celeb <laughs> lighter. All right, then, lads, get the cops out of here and don't make a lot of noise about oh, it. Robert, Robert, would you like Robert, to stay Robert. for a couple of drinks, Ferdy? Oh. No, thanks, love. No? Well, Queenie, you've won again. Oh. You'll hear no more about this. All right, love, happy days. Night, night, then. Happy days, yes. Night, night. Night, Ferdy. Good night, night Ferdy. Night, Ferdy. Oh, night, Ferdy. Oh, oh, that was a close one. We've done yeah. it, love. Come on, Don, let's have a look. Where's the photos? Well, that's what I was trying to tell Jack. I don't know how to put the film in. Oh, you that you didn't get one photograph of that, you thickhead. I'm an admiral, not a photographer. <laughs> I'll give you admiral! <laughs> Pickled onions. Plenty of pickled onions in there. Do you enjoy yourself?